Hey, Amma, is it how you are? God will really punish you what you have done to me. Ah, God will punish Amma. God will punish you. <laughs> Amma, God will punish you. I, why should Amma do this? Huh? I have the food just for you. And, and if you think this is maybe a, a heartbreak story, maybe a love story, then relax. It is worse than a love story. And also, a um, Dr. Osei Kwame Despite. He has done something that has left social media debating. Giddy, 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 giddy. I have the food just for you. I'm the headless witch, but there's headless trash and solitary. Yanko! So this boat driver, this boat driver decided to send a voice note to a lady. And this is what he sent. Listen to this. Hey, Amma. Is it how you are? God will really punish you what you have done to me. I'm a boat driver. You order a boat and I've, I've chased you out to your destination point and you have canceled the trip. God will really punish you. You this girl. God will really punish you. Ah! You have left me come from the long distance. I've reached your destination point and you cancel it. God will really punish you, Amma. God will punish you for that you have done to me. Oh, but why did Amma do that? Why? <laughs> why? 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 Huh? So if you have ordered a boat, why should you wait for him to get to um, the pickup point before you cancel? Most boat drivers have been complaining about females or um, female riders, saying that most female riders are rude. Most female, uh, female riders, when they come and sit in the car, they think the car is for them and stuff like that. A whole lot of talks. Now, if you think what Amma did is good, let me know. If you think she deserves the e curses that she's getting, let me know in the comment section. <laughs> now, let's move away from Amma and talk about Dr. Osei Kwame Despite. Now, this man has done something that um, people are talking about. Now, um, he has built two five-bedroom um, houses for his two sisters in his hometown in the Ashanti region and he has given them the keys and they did a whole ceremony presenting it to them uh, as a mark of his 60th birthday but that's not even the big deal the big deal is he is part of the East Legon Executive um, Fitness Club and this club no they also went to support their brother and when they got there there has been a debate on social media I just said people are just <laughs> anyway this is how the presentation of the houses went. Oh, clap for him, clap for him. I clap for him. Now, this is something that is not common. For somebody to build a five bedroom house for his two sisters, just a two. And after that, you know, he gave a hundred thousand Ghana cities cash to the, um, the chief of the village, telling him that they should share that money to all the widows in the churches in the village. Oh, clap for doctor. Appa. Appa. You see, this, this is um, wonderful. This is a wonderful attribute of Dr. Osei Kwame Despite. Now, that's not the case. The case is the East Legon Executive Fitness Club. No? When they got to Kumasi, and when Despite got to Kumasi, they had to welcome him. And they welcomed him by singing happy birthday song to him. This is how it happened. <laughs> about them huh? did you notice something they are all wearing white but that is not what i'm driving towards look at this picture in fact these pictures that will be showing no? 
these uh, members of the East Legon Executive Fitness Club, they were present. And there's something common about them. They are all wearing white shirts and trousers with braces and coolly high uh, hats. And none of them have six packs. <laughs> none of them have six packs. And this has caused the debate because the six pack gang, you know, they are suffering on social media. Now we all know this episode of Day Trash that came out and this lady emphatically stated that what? I like six packs guy. Who has money? Oh, baby, if you have your money, quiet to money. Keep quiet. Huh? This lady is saying she likes six packs and money. And I said in that video that there is hardly you see somebody who has six packs and has money. Now this picture is trending all over social media. They are saying, say, would you rather be at the top or the down? Do you want six pack gang or you want billionaire's club gang? And <laughs> this is the debate. Just say, if you look at the executive club now, there's nobody there under 30. So some of us, we are not qualified by age. <laughs> it's hard though. Huh? Some of us are not qualified based on age. Aside that, you, know, you have to have money in your pocket to be able to fit this club. And <laughs> yeah, give me 20 years. Give me, <laughs> <laughs> give me 20 years, yes. So yes, uh, this is the debate that is going on. And all the boys who have a uh, six pack, you know, they are suffering. They are all in the mud. And and people are talking about this on social media about one idiot. Hey, sorry. <laughs> one Facebook person, somebody on Facebook, after seeing the news that uh, Despite has built these houses for his sisters, no, he went to come and say, why, why didn't he give it to the less privileged? And I'm like, ah, what kind of life is this? So some of you know, oh, Facebook for the... <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Osai Kwame Despite has been helping people all this while, every day, doing certain things that you even don't know about. More charity moves that you even don't know about. So if he has built houses for his sisters, why should he even make this comment? But anyway, let's just not dwell on the negative, let's dwell on the positive. Dr. Osai Kwame Despite, thank you so much and big up to you. Yes, I tap into your blessings and I hope and pray that one day I'll also be able to do something like this. And no, no, no. So yes, if you are part of the people who want to choose the top, let me know in the comment section. If you are all about the down, I mean the six pass, let me know in the comment section. Yare! Yapon! May God bless you now. May God bless you now. May God bless you now.